high investors. Um, I've changed my mind about investing in gold mining stocks and uh, gold and the Roland Van Damme portfolio. Um, one uh, counter argument has come up. Come up. Uh, so I said uh, in my previous videos that I do not. Uh, I'm not planning to do that anymore, and uh, I do not advise other people to invest in gold mining stocks. But actually, um, I do. Um, so the counter argument that has come up for, for me is that, uh, well, okay, Bitcoin may certainly um, um, uh, take a lot of value from gold and um, uh, create a real uh, depression in gold mining stocks as uh, that has never been seen before, comparable to newspaper companies all going broke basically due to the internet. Um, or horse carriage companies, as I said uh, in the start of the 1900s, all going broke due to car companies. So an innovation may certainly destroy an industry, but and Bitcoin, I think, will do that for fiat and gold. Huh? It will replace that in the long term. I think that will happen. However, um, timing is uh, everything in uh, investing, and uh, I think the timing is not right uh, to uh, dump today gold and gold mining stocks uh, already um, but I so Bitcoin is currently at a thousand US dollars uh, and a market cap of around 10 billion uh, it, I think um, I think gold is safe um, as long as Bitcoin stays small huh? um, and so um, Bitcoin may tenfold from here and go to 100 billion and then still gold is like 7,000 billion So it's a much bigger huh? Even when Bitcoin goes to 100 billion and even if all the value all, Even if all that 100 billion would come from gold then still gold would have barely any damage so But the thing is that it's not going like that like most people that invest in Bitcoin do not sell their gold for Bitcoins they sell fiat <laughs> or um, uh, fiat investments uh, such as mostly saving accounts eh? so banks uh, actually uh, uh, lose most of the value there um, and um, uh, maybe bonds and stocks people sell that also for bitcoin but gold rarely huh? um, so the value that is being created in bitcoin is mostly at the expense of other investments than gold um, so that means that even if uh, Bitcoin would not just tenfold but hundredfold from the current 10 billion to not 100 billion but 1000 billion then very likely only a very small fraction will come from gold eh? so basically it means that um, I think um, it is too soon I think you can wait uh, I'm, I'm planning to wait till Bitcoin is like 100 times bigger before I'm going to dump gold and gold mining stocks huh? because um, yeah, I think then is certainly the time to do so because then I think the slaughter will start for, go for gold as well when, when Bitcoin goes, goes from a thousand billion to ten thousand billion then a lot will come from fiat but now you also start to eat from gold I think so so then then I think it's over but it may take some time before Bitcoin does an on another hundred folding I've been totally wrong in my expectations with Bitcoin, I invested one year ago. I thought it would take two, three years for a tenfolding, but actually that happened already in a few months. And then I thought now it will take certainly two, three years for another tenfolding, and that happened again in a few months. So basically, a hundredfolding in one year. Now um, uh, this, there is a strong case to be made that it will continue to go up rapidly. Uh, so another tenfolding next year, another tenfolding the year after. And if that's the case, then it will take two years and then I probably will s start dumping gold and gold mining stocks. But it's also possible that actually Bitcoin takes a step back uh, for, uh, for uh, one, two years and uh, actually does not do that much, maybe only tenfolds in two, three years. That certainly is possible, I certainly. It is also possible, not certainly, it is also possible. And um, and in that case, um, 
in the meantime, gold and gold mining stocks may certainly uh, go up, actually, uh, fivefold or even tenfold. Uh, gold not tenfolding, but certainly gold mining stocks may, some of them may certainly tenfold in within the next two, three years, whereas Bitcoin might just take a break for a while. Um, so I'm changing my mind. I think it's still a good bet to take uh, gold and gold mining stocks right now. Um, and, uh, but I think it's, I, yeah, but I think just temporarily, um, um, the moment Bitcoin hundred falls, then it's really, you re I think I'm, I will likely sell. Um, and at that point, I also think that when it's hundred falls from here, then I think it becomes really important to also implement in the permanent portfolio because then it will also start eating a lot from the permanent portfolio. I made another video on that, uh, some months back. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so, so that's my opinion on gold and gold mining stocks. Um, so currently I have around 5% of my portfolio in that and I will, uh, quick that up to, um, let me quickly check. Yeah, so I have 5% in that. I will uh, double it up to 10% which means that I'm actually having the same position as I had uh, taken in 2011. Um, and uh, and uh, I made a lot of losses on gold and gold mining stocks uh, since 2011. Uh, I lost around 30%. Uh, it's been really painful. Uh, actually, even though I made amazing profits in Bitcoin, still the part of me that uh, really uh, is uh, a big fan of gold and gold mining stocks and of Roland Van Damme, his portfolio that I'm following to the latter. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really rough. Um, um, so yeah, uh, and I'm, I'm following his portfolio. So uh, he has now, um, um, he's finally starting to uh, buy gold mining stocks again after having not bought any. Um, uh, in the collapse since 2011 and actually he sold uh, into the rise before 2011 he sold uh, uh, mining stocks about Roland van Damme um, he's a Dutch he's he's uh, publishing a Dutch newsletter so it's only in Dutch but yeah the portfolio is also published every like the weekly the newsletter is every week or every two weeks uh, but then every two months he also publishes a portfolio so even if you don't speak Dutch, you could just subscribe to him and uh, j just for getting his portfolio uh, 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 from time to time. I think it's also wise to, um, I think it's really a good idea if you believe in gold, uh, instead of just buying gold, uh, if it's worthwhile, if you have enough capital eh, uh, to uh, actually follow his portfolio because um, yeah, it's his, his track record is amazing. He outperformed gold uh, uh, the past uh, 10 years. And um, yeah, he has a really bad year this year. It's down 30%. So that's quite a disaster. But uh, that's the first time it happens. Um, uh, and still, his average return is around 15% per year since 2000. So, so, but before his average return was around 20% per year. Um, I, I also like, I'm also coming back of investing in cypher stocks because we, I, I did that based on a report I had ordered and, uh, with some good tips about what cypher stocks are worth buying. But the problem with that is I really don't want to follow that up. Huh? I really, I'm totally focused on Bitcoin and, uh, and I want to actually build, um, Bitcoin companies. Actually, I want to reduce investing. Uh, and so just following, like buying stocks, I've always been very, very um, careful uh, not to uh, invest just like that. Um, but um, but uh, so basically, I'm, I'm not, bas I have not been investing actually. The only thing I've been doing is uh, buying silver 
uh, and, uh, and gold uh, pre-2008. Then I was really active investing, but then 2009-10, I've been putting it mostly in the permanent portfolio, which is, you call it's, it's, it's investing, but it's like, it's, 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 it's not, it's, it does not require any thinking, uh, except for taking the positions and it's just automatic pilot. Um, and, um, yeah, um, I think it's very difficult to invest successfully and, um, you have like, either you're gonna do it seriously yourself. That means if I would buy s stocks in Cyprus, not only should I study them much more in detail than just reading some report and copying it, but also I should follow it up, eh? all these companies and, uh, um, and also probably sell them uh, in time. Um, and that's, uh, that I really don't want to be uh, busy with. Eh? So um, the way I'm, I'm uh, uh, why I'm copying Roland Van Damme's portfolio is because he does all that work. I don't have to do that. I don't have to study all these gold mining stocks and decide when to buy, sell. He's doing that. And that's really a, a, an amazing service. Eh? If they have proven to be able to do that successfully, which he has. Eh? So I value in enormously track records. I'm not going to copy someone if they did not prove beforehand that they are able to invest very well, meaning that they are able to outperform the permanent portfolio considerably. Eh? And that's more than seven, nine percent per year on average. Eh? If they can't do that, it's not worth bothering for me. So basically, I'm mostly in Bitcoin today, almost 70% of my portfolio, but I took out some profits and that I want to lock in for good. And with these profits, I'm now doubling my Roland Van Damme portfolio from 5 to 10%. And I'm also cricking up my permanent portfolio from, um, well, it's around 20%. And, um, um, my plan for the future is to um, to continue to uh, be very uh, critical uh, before I put money down. Um, um, and uh, that means that um, basically if I don't find uh, other people that can invest greatly for me, I just put it in the permanent portfolio, huh? uh, my profits, uh, because that's the, s the most secure to not lose uh, purchasing power. Um, and I'm planning to still find great speculations, um, actually not, not great speculations because I don't have any time for that. Huh? So Cyprus stocks was one, but I don't have any time to really do it decently. So I'm pulling back from that, but I'm going, I'm still interested to find great speculators, people that do it for me, either by publishing a newsletter with a, a, a shared portfolio with a decent track record or by running a fund, a hedge fund mostly, um, where they have proven to be able to outperform the permanent portfolio. And that I, uh, I it's so hard to find. I know there are some, but uh, I have not found the time to really, uh, to really, um, to really um, do that. So for the time being, I'll put most in the permanent portfolio of my profits from Bitcoin. And also, again, I will uh, take a decent position in Roland Van Damme and I'll be buying mining stocks these days. And um, yeah, I feel uh, really uh, good with that solution. Um, I will confirm once I have also executed this because things do change, uh, um, can change uh, in the meantime. So yeah, thanks for watching and good luck. Bye.